A local church holds an event to bring awareness to a national epidemic that's occurring here in our own backyard. Eagle Point Church in Jacksonville welcomed speakers from the Well House and Falcon Ministries last night to talk about the horrors of human trafficking, the methods they use to rescue women affected by the crime, and the victories of women who have found their way to freedom. The Well House is a human trafficking shelter that gives residential and continuing care to the sexually exploited. It's an organization staffed and led by women who know the realities of the dangerous fight for victims' lives. I'm a survivor. I was trafficked so much to Birmingham it became home. I've rescued off the same front porch I was trafficked to 25 years after the fact. So uh, there, there is no punches to be pulled. This is not sugar coat when, it's, when women are being raped and tortured daily. There's nothing pretty about it. So we can't make it nice and neat and clean. Jesus is the answer, the way, the truth, the life, and he is the reason that I am standing in front of you alive. The Well House is a partner with Falcon Ministries, a support ministry that provides manpower and air and ground logistical resources to help rescue women from the bondages of that life. Over 100 rescues, 40 of those we have played a, a part in, either again by ground or by air. And it's just very rewarding uh, to see one person that we're able to rescue out of that life. Uh, literally, I've flown all night long to get one girl. This one. It's worth it. The Well House has rescued over 125 women in just a few short years. And of that 125, 77% have been from here in Alabama. I would love to be put out of business. It offends me that we have to exist. I would love to eradicate human trafficking, know that it's no longer needed. Um, on the other hand, I would like to make sure that there are enough beds in the United States to be able to take care of the ladies who need it, and that is our goal. I would love to have a well house in every state if, need, if we could. Both speakers shared that many people don't know the severity of this crisis until it actually hits in their home. Welch says that young girls are often innocent targets and that they're usually tricked into trafficking. A lot of the people that we deal with in trafficking didn't necessarily start off uh, down that road. Uh, we rescued one girl that was from Middle America on a college scholarship that let a friend talk her into going to, to Boca Raton, Miami to make a few extra bucks. A few days later, she has no driver's license, no ID, no passport, no mobile device, no tablet, nothing but a bag full of clothes that a stripper would wear and that a prostitute would wear. The ultimate mission of both organizations is the rescue and subsequent relocation of all trafficking victims. Now, if you're a victim of human trafficking or know someone who is a victim, you can contact The Well House at their website, thewellhouse.org.